We're joined in the studio by the Conservative MP Mark Garnier from the Commission on Banking Standards and by Lord Miners, who was City Minister in Gordon Brown's government. Uh, Mark Garnier, you know, this is a, an audience of people who are not bankers, mm. but they do bank. And one of the questions they will have is, OK, take us back to 2008, and if your recommendations had been in force, how many bankers would be in jail today? Well, I think an awful lot of bankers would have had some quite serious questions to ask. I think if we look at RBS, uh, one of the most important things is the Avian AMRO deal. Uh, with the new charge of re reckless misconduct, if uh, Fred Goodwin had, could, be, could, have, could have failed to have proved that he took proper due diligence in the Avian AMRO deal, then he could easily be in prison now. Well, what about, for example, HBOS, who had a chairman who um, confessed quite openly that he didn't know anything about banking? Well, uh, yes, that's a very, very good point. Um, but, of course, he was appointed by a board, and I think the board in that particular case would then be the ones who would well, have to... Well, perhaps reckless in having a chairman who didn't know about banking. Yeah, quite possibly, yes. yeah. uh, Lord Miners, um, do you think this could work? I think, firstly, the Commission's done an excellent job. They've worked very hard. They've taken a lot of evidence, and they've got to the heart of the issue. The, the, the moral corruption of banking, which has been going on for 30 years, is directly linked, linked to remuneration. Uh, and the Commission is spot on on that subject. And most of their recommendations are very sensible. Some of them might be quite difficult to recommend, but it's a really good report. Can you criminalise some aspect of the capitalist activity, i.e., can you single bankers out and say you are so special that we're going to have a reckless clause that we don't meet out to people who run things like furniture stores? We have a concept of criminal manslaughter, so uh, the law can engage in a criminal way against uh, failures by people in the conduct of their office. I think it's quite difficult. Um, Fred Goodwin's defence on ABN AMRO uh, would have been I, my board supported it, my financial advisors supported it, and most importantly of all, 97% of my shareholders voted in favour. I think that's a pretty good defence. I think the main thing, John, here mm -hmm. is that heightening up the obligations and accountability mm -hmm. of bank directors ought to make them more careful but in their conduct. Let's stick with his penultimate point there, which is he doesn't really think that that's going to work, that you're ever going to find a banker in jail. But I think Paul actually picked on a very, very important point. You should see this as like the nuclear deterrent. The whole point about this is that any senior banker, such as Fred Goodwin, when every day when they go into work, they will be looking at this deterrent. They will be saying to themselves, am I doing every single thing that I should be doing to ensure the safety and security and soundness of the institution that I run. And if they fail to do that, then, you know, they're going to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and muck sweat about the whole thing. It's, it's about making sure they're accountable. What confidence do you have that everything that you've asked for will be implemented and how long is it going to take? Well, the government has said they're going to come back in four weeks. They're going to have a response to this. Obviously, we've got George Osborne's speech tonight, so it'll be interesting to see what he says as a kind of first response to this. But so far, it looks very good. Uh, David Cameron in the chamber today was, was very enthusiastic about it. Uh, there's plenty of opportunity. We've got the banking reform bill coming through. There's secondary legislation that will come through as a result of that. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity going through there. I'm, I'm quite hopeful. I know you're not the leader of the Labour Party, but do you think, in fact, Labour will support this going through and will, will there be a, a, a sort of all-party drive to get this onto the statute books? I hope so. This is an all-party commission, both houses. Um, I don't think there's anything here that's very party political. There is some criticism of the government for interfering with, with RBS and Lloyds, with not giving the regulators enough power. But I, I hope this won't become a party political issue, John. I hope this commission's report will be implemented. Lord Miners, Mark Garnier, thank you both very warmly. Thank you. Cathy.